Now, we will concentrate on most useful inventions which we use in our daily lives. In our household work? Or kitchen? Yes, all of us use refrigerator, oven, bulbs. They are so commonly used that we hardly think about their origin. That's true. I open the fridge at least 100 times a day, but never thought about who invented it and how does it work. Yes, and the same about the bulbs. So come on, let us know more about our daily companions. Now tell me, who was the inventor of phonographs and other record players? Records used to record sound were invented in 1877 by Thomas Alva Edison, who invented the first machine to record and playback sound. Early records were cylindrical, but flat discs soon replaced them. Can you tell me who invented the piano? The modern piano was developed from the harpsichord around 1720 by Bartolomeo Cristofori of Padua, Italy. His new instrument had a delicate pianissimo, or very soft sound, a strong fortissimo, a very loud forceful sound, and every level in between. The first upright piano was made around 1780 by Johann Schmidt of Salzburg, Austria. Tell me about the invention of Play-Doh. Play-Doh, a popular children's modelling clay, was invented by Noah W. McVicker and Joseph S. McVicker. The original Play-Doh was sold in only one colour, off-white. Eventually, many colours were marketed. Over 700 million pounds of Play-Doh have been sold, but the formula is still a secret. Can you tell me who invented the Polaroid camera? The Polaroid camera is a camera that develops the photograph immediately. It was invented by Edwin Herbert Land, an American physicist and inventor who also investigated the mechanisms of colour perception, developed the first modern light polarizers and other optical devices. Land established the Polaroid Corporation in 1937. Which is the brightest star seen from the Earth? It is Sirius, also known as Dark Star. Tell me about the invention of the Popsicle. The Popsicle was invented by 11-year-old Frank Epperson in 1905. Epperson had left a fruit drink out overnight with a stirrer in it. And it froze, making a new treat. His frozen treat was originally called the Epsicle. Epperson got a patent on his frozen ice on a stick many years later in 1923. The Epsicle was later renamed the Popsicle. Now tell me, who was the inventor of the portable medical infusion pump? Dean Kamen, an American inventor, developed the portable medical infusion pump which allows patients to receive medication like insulin away from the hospital and has allowed diabetic women to carry and deliver babies much more safely. Can you tell me who invented Portland cement? Cement is an ultra-fine grey powder that binds sand and rocks into a mass or matrix of concrete necessary to build houses, bridges and skyscrapers. The invention of Portland cement is generally credited to Joseph Aspden, an English mason. In 1824, he named Portland cement because it produced a concrete that was the colour of the excellent natural stone quarried on the Isle of Portland. Tell me about the invention of potato chips. The potato chip was invented in 1853 by George Crumb. Crumb was an African-American chef at the Moon Lake Lodge Resort in Saratoga Springs, New York, USA. French fries were popular at the restaurant and one day a diner complained that the fries were too thick. Crumb made fries that were too thin to eat with a fork, hoping to annoy the extremely fussy customer. The customer, surprisingly enough, was happy and potato chips were invented. Do you know the Indian calendar is based on the motion of sun and moon? Tell me about the invention of printing press with movable type. The first printing press with movable type 
was invented in 1450 by Johannes Gutenberg. This invention revolutionized printing, making it simpler and more affordable. Can you tell me who invented the pushpin? The pushpin was invented by the Pennsylvanian inventor Edwin Moore in 1900. Moore started a company producing these useful pins in 1900. After years of growing, his company incorporated on July 19, 1904 and was called the Moore Pushpin Company. Can you tell me who invented Q-tips? The Q-tip was invented in the 1920s by Leo Gerstenzang. His wife had used a toothpick with cotton stuck on the end to clean their baby's ears and Leo invented Q-tips to replace her jewelry-rigged invention. Doctors today advise that you should not use Q-tips to clean the inside of your ears. Q-tips, however, have many other uses, including cleaning small areas like jewellery or the space between computer keys, applying glue, spreading paint, etc. Coits is an outdoor game that is played by throwing an iron or steel coit onto a peg-like metal pin sticking up out of soft clay. Coits may have originally been a game in which a disc was thrown at a target, emphasizing accuracy and not distance. Or it may have evolved from the game of horseshoes. Its origin is unsure, but it certainly is an old game. What is photosphere? It is the yellow surface of sun. Now tell me, who is the inventor of radar? The first practical radar system was invented in 1935 by the Scottish physicist Sir Robert Alexander Watson Watt. He developed radar to help track storms in order to keep aircraft safe. His invention eventually helped the Allies win World War II against the Germans. Radar is short for radio detection and ranging. Radar is used to locate distant objects by sending out radio waves and analysing the echoes that return. Tell me about the invention of radio. The radio was invented by Nikola Tesla. The radio was promoted and popularised by Guglielmo Marconi in 1895. The first radio transmission across an ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, occurred on December 12, 1901. Can you tell me who invented radio immunoassay? Dr. Solomon A. Burson and Dr. Rosalind Sussman Yellow co invented the radio immunoassay or RIA in 1959. The radio immunoassay is a method of chemically analyzing human blood and tissue and is used to diagnose illnesses like diabetes. Blood banks use RIA to screen blood. RIA is also used to detect drug use, high blood pressure, infertility and many other conditions and diseases. Now tell me, who is the inventor of the radio telescope? A radio telescope is a metal dish that gathers radio waves from space. Radio astronomy involves exploring space by examining radio waves from outer space. Radio astronomy was pioneered by Carl G. Jansky, who in 1932 first detected radio waves from a cosmic source in the central region of the Milky Way galaxy. Gort Reber made the first true radio telescope after reading of Jansky's discoveries. Planet Mercury. Do you know who was he? He was a speedy messenger of all the gods. Tell me, who invented rayon? Rayon is a cellulose-based fibre that is made from wood pulp or cotton waste. Rayon is used as a substitute for silk. It was invented around 1855 by the Swiss chemist Georges Audemars. Rayon was first commercially produced in 1910 by Avtex Fibers INC in the United States. It was called artificial silk at first but the name was changed to Rayon in 1924. Can you tell me who invented the Razor Scooter? The Razor Scooter is a new and very popular foldable scooter. 
It was invented by a team of people at the JD Corporation. Gino Sai, the president of the company, wanted a way to get around his factory floors faster. It took about five years for the team to develop this current model, which uses airplane-grade aluminium and polyurethane wheels. It was introduced in 1998 at the NSGA World Sports Expo when Sai scooted around the show. Can you tell me who invented records and record players? Records, used to record sound, were invented in 1877 by Thomas Alva Edison, who invented the first machine to record and playback sounds, the phonograph or record player. Early records were cylindrical, but flat discs soon replaced them. Now tell me, who was the inventor of the reflecting telescope? A reflecting or Newtonian telescope uses two mirrors to magnify what is viewed. The reflecting telescope was first described by James Gregory in 1663. The largest planet is Jupiter. But do you know what is the second largest planet? It is Saturn. 